So, in the last episode, we learned a lot. We learned that we were an ex-employee from Playtime Co. who specialized in creating living dolls. Um, or living toys. But not living, like, they're supposed to be lifelike. In the process of making these, we learn through VHS tapes that we find throughout the game. There is a very arrogant guy, possibly the owner, who has been doing experiments. So we can only assume that he's, like, killing people. But the they were talking about how one of their experiments went haywire, and then he could hear screaming the last tape, and presumably him dying. Where we then found a poppy doll in a case, we opened it, and then she talked. We are gonna jump into chapter two, Flying a Web. Wait. Oh. Oh wow, movement feels different for this. Oh wow, this is a lot smoother. Crazy. Hmm. Whoa, this this just looks better than chapter one. Oh, the door is open. So previously we couldn't get into here. Oh, she blockaded me in. Very interesting. This is very Ruin-esque. I really like this. This came out before Ruin though, so. But it is very Ruin-esque. What? This way? Elliot Ludwig. Okay, so that's the name of the founder. Oh, man. So you can't enter Elliot Ludwig's room. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Oh. Okay. So now we're adding. So that's two more toys. No one's knocked over this ladder though. She was like, she was like, I gotta get up here and fix this one particular light. Cause you think there's blood right here. You think the kid would fucking okay. Well, kid. I'm assuming kid. Press here. <laughs> I thought you were gonna give me instructions. Does someone need a hug? So this is what Huggy Wuggy's voice is. Give me a big squeeze. I promise I won't bite. Come closer, friend. I'll squeeze you until you... <laughs> okay. Oh! You finally get to use this tactic to clear a doorway, right? Aw, oh, man. Gotta love that for me. Tab. Oh! What am I supposed to do? Okay, I have a key. Cool. Ooh, what's this key to? Oh, this has to be an Elliot Ludwig room. Good thing I didn't have to actually do good at that. They're adding a lot of mechanics into this. It's gonna come to life! Aww. Oh, VHS tape. Oh, picked up Daisy. I didn't know you could actually pick that up. Yeah, let's watch this. Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing a 
amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... Interest. okay. Interesting. Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I was just trying to get the power back on. Here. I don't fucking like you. <laughs> you're fucking scary. You're, f you're fucking. Sc you're scary. <laughs> um, I wanted to thank you for freeing me. I was stuck in there for so long. Thank you. I'd like to pay you back. There's a train station nearby. It needs a coke, and I have it. We're gonna get out of here. As soon as you get on up here... <laughs> Get into the vents? Oh, wait, she said I should be able to follow you through the vents, so. Oh. How was I supposed to? Know? I would have gone into the vents. ZB, that's me. Someone's died here, too. Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. You gotta need me to. Oh, do I have to jump in? Whoa. Okay. Leith Pierre, Elliot Ludwig, Stella Graver. Someone's on one side here too. Okay, so power. I'm gonna have to get the power going, okay. It's okay. There 
here we go. Oh, game station's gonna open that. I'm a dead dog. Okay, interesting. cheesy to me but it was cute though but typically it's scarier when you don't know what they're gonna do to you you're cute I haven't seen you before oh you're a character now you weren't involved earlier earlier all we saw was you 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 you, you, I think we saw almost all of these. Maybe not you. Let's see you. Oh, this is so cute. That's cute. This is really cute. Oh, I came from there. This is a cute area. Didn't they ask me to go to musical memory though? Super-duper fun games to play. These little tests show us just how crazy strong and smart you are. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs, and we'll start by playing Musical Memory. See you in a bit. Preparing for departure. Three, two. Oh. 
Let's just fucking... This is musical memory, huh? like new things now. So cool, what? That's that's pretty cool that they made you make it. I was over there, now I'm here. Think green, reduce, reuse, and recycle. That's cool that they like 
try to constantly try to like enforce that, right? The color of the hand, the like pink green. So this is from where we were looking earlier. I know when your birthday is! June 28th! <laughs> That's not when my birthday is. Make a wish. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, happy, happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Is this my birthday or something? Is my birthday on June 28th? Oh, no. Oh no, oh no. Are they all the same purple? Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. Yeah, got it. A sequence of colors will be shown and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, face. your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck. This is very dangerous for children to be on. Oh. oh, isn't it amazing? Mommy hasn't seen the place up and running in years. Mommy can only imagine how excited Bunzo must be. It's been such a long time since he's been able to play, to cheer, to eat. Red. Red. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Green. Red. Yellow. Green. Blue. Red. Yellow. Green. Blue. Yellow. Yeah, you Round stay up two. there. Red. Red. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Blue. Red. Yellow. Blue. Green. Red. Yellow. Blue. Green. Green. Red, yellow, blue, green, green, violet. <laughs> Round three. Oh no, stop, 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 stop. Violet. Violet organ. Violet organ white. Violet, orange, white. Violet, orange, white, blue. Uh, violet, orange, white, blue. 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 White, white. Stay up there! Stay away from me. Round four. Oh my god. Blue. Blue J. J. Blue J heart. Okay, so blue J heart. Blue J heart. Blue J heart. Bye. Okay, uh, blue J heart. Bye. Blue J heart. Bye. Bye. 
blue, gay, heart, I, I. Blue, gay, heart, I, I, gay. Blue, gay, heart, I, I, gay. Round five. White organ Java Massacres. Question my heart violent. Violent. Question my heart violent. Question my heart violent. Question my heart violent. Question my heart violent. For doing such a splendid job, Mommy has decided to give you part of the code for the train. Look hard. Take it. Thank you, Mommy. Mommy was hoping the game could last a little longer. It's okay, though. Mommy knows other ways to play with you. Yeah, if you wanted it to go on longer, you could have just like kept going. <laughs> Thanks for that, mommy. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. I'll go. I'll go. Howdy everybody, editing fatigue here. Um, you're gonna hate me, but this is actually where I'm gonna end the video because this is three hours of footage <laughs> and I am through an hour of it and I have compressed it down into like 25 minutes, 30 minutes. So you guys are gonna be getting part one of chapter two right here, right now, as we speak. And the rest will be coming out shortly. Because I'm editing it right now. And then after that, we have Dragon Age Veil Guard. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dragon Age Veil Guard. So, also, I incredibly enjoyed Chapter 2 of Poppy Playtime. I incredibly enjoyed it. It was extremely good. And you guys, of course, know the drill. If you guys want to see me play more of Poppy Playtime, because I still haven't played Chapter 3 yet, and Chapter 4, the trailer dropped, I reacted to that. Um, but you guys know the drill. If you guys want to see more, make sure you comment and like and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one. This is Editing Fatigue, logging off. It was really good though. It was really good. It was awesome actually.